our, our formulas, our, our models are all SEC approved and uh, subject to public commentary. The, the model is uh, commonly known as a value at risk model. It is a statistically uh, ex widely accepted and supported model to estimate the potential loss that the portfolio of open trades that a firm uh, has, uh, what's the loss over the two-day uh, period to settlement. Uh, in the case of Robinhood and others, because they, they were not the only firm that was facing these situations, the model saw that they had large concentration of, of transactions in buy, so they were instead of a portfolio of buys and sales, they were all buy tra trades in stocks that were moving around 100 to 200 to 300 percent a day, which is incredible volatility, and with volumes that were over 100 times uh, above what would be normal. All these uh, factors lead the model to say this is a very risky situation. If a firm defaults, there's a possibility of those stocks losing all their value in an equal period of time. So that's what drive, drove the margin charge from Robinhood and some other firms where you saw this heavy retail flow. We provide our members the, the model itself in our rules. We have a model guide to help them understand it. We have APIs which sends information to the firms. We have a customer portal where they can see what we're seeing. Now the model itself runs overnight. So uh, one can understand a firm may not know the exact precise uh, amount that may come out the next day because especially in this type of marketplace, but they you know can anticipate that there will be a significant increase overnight as a result of seeing their customers activity coming through them. Okay, so, so we know that it was an unprecedented week, but do you believe that it was the settlement cycle that's to blame for Robin Hood's margin issues or is this just a case of poor risk management? Well, I think it's more a question of if there was a shorter settlement cycle, yes, the margin charge would be reduced because that period of time they would go from two days to one day, and therefore the portfolio of open trades would be lower. The volatility would not have to be over two days, but to one day. I'm not sure blame is the right term for a settlement cycle that simply is an industry convention. Our process for computing uh, the margin and communicating such is laid out in our rules. Uh, which include the, the margin formula itself. There are margin guides. We have uh, a uh, portal that they can use to estimate their, their margin. You know, the calculation takes into, uh, works overnight. It's every day. It's, uh, it's run at the end of the trading day. It takes into consideration market volatility. It looks at specific security volatility, uh, concentration of activity in certain securities. So what you saw in GameStop was almost a perfect storm going through these retail platforms where a lot of buy activity, massive buy activity, 130 times normal volume we saw weeks before. In stocks that were moving around anywhere from 100 to 300 percent a day, um, and you know just uh, highly volatile over this period of time. So the uh, margin calculation reflects the risk that the firm is presenting to us. That calculation is done overnight. Um, and it is communicated the next day automatically by email generation. In the case of uh, Robinhood, there was an additional charge, a capital premium, which was the, as a result of the fact that their margin requirement was in excess of their uh, net capital, indicating that they were taking on more financial risk than we felt would be prudent. That charge was later waived, but the core uh, margin charge of a billion four, again, it's articulated in our rules. We give their clients a tool. Transparency is always a, is a good that we'll always try to get better at, but we believe that we do provide those tools.